Hi guys, so uh, welcome to my channel and um, so yeah, here we are. I'm planning to do an unboxing video basically and um, let's get the box first which is right here, right? Yep, so this is the box. Um, before I do an unboxing, I'd just like to say you know, this video is not sponsored by anyone. It's not sponsored by Apple. Just because I'm wearing an Apple shirt doesn't mean anything because this is the only shirt I could find and I just wore it. And um, well, this is also not sponsored by Lazada. So if you guys are thinking about it, it's not. And no, I also went to Challenger to purchase uh, some of the accessories. So I got one of the accessories which we will also unbox together. And of course, my old um, iPad Air, you know, iPad Air 2. It's, just, it's not bad, you know, it's still working, uh, you know, it's quite light and stuff. So, you know, throughout this unboxing, we will kind of, you know, try doing an, an active comparison between the new iPad and, uh, and um, the previous model. Let me get my pen knife. Right. Okay, so, here we are. I'm so excited. <laughs> like, I've not done this before and I've seen people doing this kind of unboxing videos. Yeah, but it's about time, so let's do it. Alright. How do we open this? Okay, probably here first. Alright. Here. This right, okay, I think so. All right, the package is opened. Okay, we have some bubble proof, I guess. So, yeah, it's good. Very the tight. Ah, there we go. So it's an empty box, so we can keep this aside as well. Alright. Here we go. Okay, so I ordered the accessory as well in Lazada. So I used, uh, I got a magic keyboard. Uh, no, they had no Apple Pencil left. I think they ran out of stock. So, so just I went to Challenger to get the Apple Pencil. Alright. Okay, so how are we going to do this? I think I'll keep the accessories aside first. I always uh, revisit them later. Oh, so this is the iPad. Mm, I mean, the color looks good, so let's open it. That was oddly satisfying, but yeah, I mean, well, it's not unboxed an iPad in a long time. Okay, sorry. Is there any other? Did I miss anything? Alright, yeah. Alright. Okay, it's slowly coming off. So let's see what we have. So we have the iPad Pro. Seems really nice. We'll keep this aside. And see what else are there. Yeah, so we have the traditional Apple, you know, trademark stuff, which is their logos. I think there will be a few stickers and guides if I'm not wrong. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the usual stuff. If it's a ejector because I got the Wi-Fi plus cellular model, so where you can use that to eject or like put your SIM in. Okay, we don't need this, so we'll keep this aside. What else do we have? 
where we have the new uh, adapter which uses USB Type-C so I think that's a better improvement compared to the previous iPad which uses the lightning cable so I think with the USB-C it's kind of a I would say it's easier to like do all kinds of things like charging and transfer stuff and this is the cable that's it pretty standard stuff I would say uh, I think the iPad does no, no longer comes with a with a you know earpiece or anything so that's all you get off the box keep this all in give this aside and there you go we have the iPad Pro 11 inch space grey so let's open this off the back oh. Alright. Alright, so this is the new iPad Pro. Okay, so first impressions, it's really light and um, I didn't expect it to be this light to be very honest because uh, you know, I know the iPad Air, you know, it's just known for its lightness, but uh, I don't think it's that much of a difference and I think it stands uh, this stands at 444 grams while this stands at 473 uh, but you can't really feel the difference so so I would say no kudos to Apple for for creating a pro tablet with a you know, minimal increase in weight and um, another interesting thing is actually that the iPad Pro is slightly thinner than the iPad Air 2 which I didn't really expect uh, I think this stands at 6.1 millimeter thickness while this stands at 5.9 millimeters if I'm not wrong. So that's why you have this. Um, yeah, I mean, it looks really, really good off, you know, from what you get. It's really nice. You have the typical, um, you know, Apple look and finish. Um, another difference, I think this comes with two uh, cameras, so you have the wide and ultra wide with uh, 2.4 aperture and 1.8 uh, compared to the previous iPad which only comes up in like a uh, single camera. Okay, so we have this, so let's turn it on. There you go. The Apple logo stuff. Keep this here. So, other other differences I would say between these two iPads is of course uh, this comes with a a liquid Retina display compared to just the normal Retina display in the previous iPad. Uh, it runs a faster processor of uh, the A Apple's new uh, A twelve Z. Uh, bionic chip compared to the A8 in the previous iPad and, uh, and I think in terms of resolution it's slightly higher uh, but if you go by you know uh, pixels per inch count I think it's it's about the same at 224 uh, of both these iPads so that's that's what you have you know, in terms of uh, display uh, specs and of course you know I think there's an increase uh, screen to body ratio from like uh, 72 percent to like 83 percent because of you know retina bezels around and stuff so well done okay it says hello swipe up to open sure english let me just set this up very quick okay It may take a few minutes to activate the iPad, so that's what it says. And uh, so I think we can still run through some of the uh, spec differences between my previous iPad and the uh, new one. So uh, I think this comes with a uh, stereo sound, so you have four speakers. Uh, compared to the previous iPad, it only comes with two. And uh, but on the downside, you know, we do not have the 3.5 uh, millimeter jack in in the new iPad, so 
you gotta use your AirPods or any other Bluetooth um, earpiece. So that's that's something to to look at. And um, of course, I think it's better camera at seven megapixels compared to the previous one, which was one point two. And you have a bunch load of I wouldn't say useless, but stuff that I probably wouldn't use, like you know the Animoji and like uh, portrait mode, those kinds of things. But yeah, I think it's a pretty good front-facing camera and it has a faster RAM I think it's at 4GB RAM compared to the previous one which runs at 2GB so these are like some of the basic differences you have continue face ID I think we'll set it up later as this sets up uh, alright so there's this verification code Interesting. Allow. Okay. So in the meantime, as you know, we set the iPad up. Uh, I think we can see the Magic Keyboard. So I think that's one of the other things that uh, I think people have been looking forward to with the new iPad because. The new iPad is being advertised, you know, it's like it's supposed to be like your computer. So I think this really helps. It's really expensive compared to the Smart Folio keyboard. Uh, but yeah, I think this brings a better uh, user experience if you were to use this as, as you know, your, your notebook per se, because you know, it has a trackpad and um, you know, it has better key travel compared to your uh, smart for your keyboard with a, with a one millimeter key travel so it makes you feel like you are typing something uh, you have an additional port as well to connect your charger so in that case you get like two USB-C ports so you can use one for like transferring of files and the other one to just you know, charge your iPad and it also um, allows for greater uh, flexibility in terms of um, you know, the angle of tilt so, so you have that as well Alright, let's open this. Alright, so I think that's all you can do. So if you guys were asking me you know, why I chose you know the 11 inch uh, over the 12.9, um, I would say that's that's because I didn't, uh, you know, I didn't want, how to say, I didn't want my iPad to replace my laptop per se because, you know, I I want my MacBook to be, you know, as it is. And I see my iPad Pro being more of a, a tablet replacement, you know, as, as uh, compared to being a replacement for my laptop. So that's why I didn't go for the 12.9 and it's way too big and it affects like the portability and stuff like that. So, so yeah, swipe up and there you go. So, I mean, even before you get this started, the iPad Pro is on. So if you can see, um, it's really nice. The true tone display, you know, kind of, I, I, I think, the difference is quite evident, like from the you know, home screen, and if you compare the previous iPad, um, you, you can see, let me increase the brightness. Yeah, I mean, there's obvious difference in terms of uh, screen, um, like resolution. So, so yeah. All right. Keep this to the side and let's um all right let's let's open the magic keyboard okay so yeah so this is the new magic keyboard so if you can see you know it does have uh of course it does have uh the port which i which i said earlier uh, you have uh, the trackpad and yeah I think it attaches to itself magnetically if I'm not wrong 
let's see how it fits all right it was relatively easy all right so this is how you have it so this is so see the laptop set up for the iPad so you have the tilt as I mentioned earlier so you can keep it like this or you can push it slightly forward to give you more of the laptop feels and let's open the last one which is the Apple Pencil slightly different from the first generation in terms of uh, design as well as you know you have uh, an easier way to charge because you, know, you do not need to like insert it through the port to charge it uh, it now charges um, wirelessly using the magnetic uh, strip so I think that's a very welcome change from Apple same user guide and stuff the new Apple Pencil. Alright, put this in. And I think we have to do this to connect it. Yep. And you can start using the Apple Pencil just like that so this is the full iPad setup and uh, yeah I think that's about it you know in terms of unboxing um, we pretty much covered some things some specs and my initial impressions of this iPad you know it's, it's it looks really gorgeous to, to say the least and yeah I mean it looks like I mean the standard stuff of whatever you expect from Apple so this is what you get and um, yeah so probably I might do a follow-up video soon sometime soon uh, if I want to probably I'll do like I'll try to use this iPad for a week or so or a month and I will see you know, how it stands up in terms of its performance and things like that and uh, we also have I've also ordered a new MacBook Pro and um, so I'm waiting for it to to arrive and once you know it gets delivered I think we can do another unboxing video so so let's see how that goes but for now I would say yes this iPad looks great and um, no worries starting to like it and uh, yeah so I think that's it for this video and um, see you all in the next video thank you